Hello everyone. This video will show the basic forms of the equation of a line. Before we go further, please feel free to check out the description below for the link of the other series of topics related to lines. To start off with, we have the slope-intercept form. So if we are given a point that touches the y-axis at 0b, this is our y-intercept. And if we are given the slope of this line, then we can go ahead and use the formula y equals mx plus b, where our m is the slope, the b is the y-intercept. On the other hand, sometimes the slope is not given, but another point is given. So if another point is given, we can go ahead and solve for the slope of the line using these two points, and we can still use the equation y equals mx plus b. Now let's move on to the next form. The second form of the equation of a line is the point-slope form. So if we are given the slope of a line and a point, we label this as x1, y1. We can go ahead and determine the equation of this line by using the formula y minus y sub 1 equals m quantity x minus x sub 1, where our m is the slope and the coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1 is a point on the line. Sometimes the slope is not given, but another point is given. We can go ahead and solve for the slope of the line using these two points, and we still can use the point-slope form. We just have to pick which of those two points we use to replace the y1 and x1 in the equation. Now let's move on to the next form. The third form is related to the point-slope form. This is just an expanded point-slope form. So if we are given two points, we label this as x sub 1, y sub 1. That's the coordinate of the first point and x sub 2, y sub 2 as the coordinate of the second point, we can go ahead and determine the equation for this line by plugging in to this equation that we have here, y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity x minus x sub 1. Now, please notice that our slope formula is this part right here, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. One. And so this is just, again, an expanded form of the point-slope form. Again, our x sub 1, y sub 1 is the coordinate of the first point, while our x sub 2, y sub 2 would be the coordinates of the second point. Now let's move on to the next form. The next form is called the standard form. This is having a formula ax plus by equals c. Now we remember that our a should always be positive. This standard form is generally used to determine the x and y intercepts of a line. So if we have here this line, it touches on this point on the y-axis and this point on the x-axis, we can determine the coordinates of these two points using this standard form. On the other hand, we also use this standard form in solving systems of equation. Now let's move on to the next form. The next form is the two-intercept form or the double-intercept form. So if we are given two intercepts of the line, that is 0B, which is our y-intercept, and A, 0 as our x-intercepts, we can use the formula x over A plus y over B equals 1, where again, our A is the x-intercept, and the B is the Y-intercept. This is called the two-intercept form of a line or the double-intercept form of a line. Now let's move on to the next form. The next form is the vertical line. So whenever we see a line that is vertical and touches at A0, this is our X-intercept. And the equation for this line is X equals a. Again, our A is the x-intercept. Now let's move on to the next form. 
The next form is the horizontal line. So whenever we see a horizontal line, it's going to touch the y-axis at 0b. And so we can go ahead and write the equation for this horizontal line as y equals b, where again the b is the y-intercept. So to wrap it up, these are the basic forms of the equation of a line. The first is the slope-intercept form, the point-slope form, the two-point form, the standard form, the two-intercept form or the double-intercept form, the vertical line, and the horizontal line. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!